Hello, my name is Ms. Rutherford, and this is the third video in my series on, uh, a short series rather, on scientific notation and conversions. Right now, we're going to be looking at getting from scientific notation back into uh, regular, it's standard decimal notation. And I'm going to include a couple of extra examples. So this video will include both the uh, description and the extra examples all in one video. So what, we've got to, what we're going to do here is first pick a number in scientific notation. Let's say 2.36 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay? So that's something in scientific notation currently. We have decimal, or sorry, digit, decimal, rest of our digits, then power of 10. It happens to be a negative exponent. Now what you should start getting used to is that that means it's a small number. It's something that's dividing by 10 four times. So that's what I want to look at first, is that we're actually looking at what this really means is 2.36 divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10. Okay? Well, you could check that on a calculator, and you could literally go through and take this and divide by 10. What you should know is that making, it's making it smaller by a factor of 10 four times. So really what that means is I'm, I'm going to add some leading zeros here. Right now we've got a decimal point right there. Well, we're going to divide by 10, so that moves from here to here, then divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10. And so we should end up with 0 0.000236. We check and make sure, because this is negative, it should be a small number. This is, in fact, a small number. So that reasonableness check checks out, so to speak. So that's converting from scientific notation into normal decimal notation. Well, again, we can use the same trick that we were using before. So I'm going to do this same problem, but think about it using the little trick that I've been teaching in the previous videos. So the trick is, whatever way the decimal place goes, the exponent goes the opposite, and vice versa. So here's the deal. When we want to get into sign, or standard notation, so standard decimal notation, we want the exponent to be 0 because 10 to the 0 equals 1. So if we have our power of 10 that's just equal to 1, that means we're in just a standard notation, a standard decimal notation. So I want to get from negative 4 to 0. Okay? Well, on a number line, here's negative 4, here's 0. To get from negative 4 to 0, I need to move to the right. Therefore, the decimal needs to move 4 to the left. Okay? So I just start moving. 1, 2, 3, 4. We add zeros. There's my decimal point. And I end up with 0 0.000236 times 10 to the 0. But 10 to the 0 is just equal to 1, so I'm timesing by 1. So really, we can just drop this. Okay? Quick way to convert from scientific notation to standard notation. Okay? Look at another example. And from now on, by the way, I'm going to kind of use this trick method because it's really concrete, it's easy for students to remember. And it's a way to get this done quickly so that we can move on to other activities and things. So, let's pick a large number this time. Let's say um, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th. Um, that happens to be the speed of light in meters per second. Not that it really matters, but, you know, I figured might as well pick something kind of interesting. So, once again, let's take a look at our number line. We want to end up at 10 to the 0. So we're starting at, you know, out here somewhere is 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we want to end up at 0. So that means we're moving left on the number line, which means our digit should move right on the number line. Or, sorry, our decimal place should move right. So... We're right here right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Add our zeros. Okay. So then I would have a comma here and a comma here. And so it turns out that's actually 300,000. Okay. A good way to know that, um, or we want to check for reasonableness, this is a really big number. It's got a positive power of 10. We're multiplying by 10 eight times here. That's really all we're doing. So, this is a really big number. Our reasonableness kind of checks out here. Okay? Do one more example of getting from standard to, or from scientific to standard decimal notation. Let's do another small number because they tend to be hardest for students. 2.5136 times 10 to the negative second. Let's try. Okay? So, we've got this decimal. We want to end up with it in this. Sorry, scientific notation, we want to end up with it in decimal format. 
we look at our number line, we want to get to decimal notation, which is 10 to the 0. Okay? We're currently at negative 2, we want to get to 0. That means we're moving to the right on the number line. Therefore, our decimal place is going to move left two places. So, left 2, 1, 2, means we have 0 0.025136 times 10 to the 0, but 10 to the 0 is the same as 1, so we can just get rid of it. Final answer. Okay? Um, on my website, there are some examples of websites that you can go to to practice this. You can just Google uh, scientific notation practice, and you should be able to find plenty of things. That's all I did, and then I posted what I found on my website. Uh, so feel free to practice. Also, if you're in my physics class, you'll be getting a worksheet with some practice on it as well.